Good evening. This is VK3 Echo Kilo Hotel, VK3 EKH, the official station of the Astronomical Society of Victoria, with the regular Friday night broadcast coming to you from the studios of VK3 CSJ in Narry Warren South. We're broadcasting on the prime frequency of 3541 kilohertz in the 80 meter amateur radio band and also via the Melbourne television repeater, VK3 RTV, Digital Channel 1 in HD. Streaming on YouTube, look for my call sign, VK3CSJ. In the YouTube search engine, I look for the live symbol. And <coughs> hopefully the YouTube stream will uh, hang in there for the rest of this uh, hour, coming up hour. We also have an email address if you wish to send signal reports to VK3EKH at gmail.com vk3ekh at gmail.com and we also have a discord chat window so if you uh, install discord and look for astronomy chat room associated with the ASV radio broadcast you should find that uh, without a problem and uh, all right you're tuned to ASV radio vk3ekh on the 15th of March 2024, a very pleasant good evening to everybody, for those that aren't watching the footy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the game has become very one-sided, unlike previous games. Uh, the Astronomical Society of Victoria was founded in 1922. It uh, comprises well over a thousand, over 1,600 members scattered throughout Victoria and Australia and overseas. Membership of the Society is open to all persons with an interest in astronomy. The Society's objectives are to encourage the study and practice of astronomy, to disseminate the knowledge of the science and to provide greater facilities for the study among its members. Monthly meetings are usually held on the second Wednesday of each month, which has just happened, or except in January, where that is held on the Saturday night. Meetings start at 8pm at the Millwall Hall, Ballard Avenue, Melbourne, near the Melbourne Observatory, which is not too far from the Shrine of Remembrance. Parking is available in Ballard Avenue, Dallas Brooks Drive and the surrounding streets. Admission is free and uh, visitors are most welcome. Privileges of membership include the right to borrow books, periodicals and other publications from the Society's extensive library located at Melbourne Observatory. Receipt of the ASC magazine cracks containing articles, news, observing notes and the like and the free provision of the Astronomical Yearbook. Access is available to telescopes on members nights held regularly at the Melbourne Observatory and after the monthly meetings, weather permitting. These instruments include the Society's, the Society's 300mm equatorial reflector and a 300mm portable reflector. There's a 200mm reflector managed by the Royal Botanic Gardens and a photoheliograph are also housed at the observatory and are accessible to members as well. The Society also has a number of 200mm reflectors available for short period loan in the ASV's telephone loan scheme so members can try it before they buy. Members are also encouraged to make use of the Society's country property located near Heathcote, some 90 minute drive north of Melbourne. There are a range of instruments available for members to use, the larger two only with appropriate training, and they include the 300mm and 1000mm aperture telescopes. Also allocated on the site is a fully steerable 8.5m steerable radio telescope, uh, which uh, members can access with involvement in the radio astronomy section. Members are encouraged to make and use telescopes. Advice and help on both matters are provided willingly to newcomers desiring to do the same. Instrument making is only one of the number of common interest activities catered for within the society. <coughs> Other areas of interest that members can participate in uh, include deep sky observing, astrophotography, lunar and planetary observing, auroral, meteor, comet, radio astronomy, computing, cosmology and astrophysics, historical studies and research and astronomy in general. 
Contact details for various section directors are provided in the yearbook, but further information may be obtained by visiting the ASV website at www.asv.org.au. That's www.asv.org.au. Uh, also, events are published in Crux Extra Bulletins, which is a, uh, an email uh, bulletin sent out every other week to inform members of any events coming up and just as reminders of what's going on and if or uh, there are situations that occur where the uh, dark sky site may have to be uh, closed down due to total fire ban or such some such things. Uh, please note that the ASV will conform to all government health directives as in the past. Uh, ASV events may be required to be cancelled, moved or postponed. You can write to the Secretary of the Astronomical Society of Victoria, GPO Box 1059, Melbourne, Victoria 3001, if you wish to send a mail uh, post note. Otherwise, uh, like I say, everything can be found on the ASV website. It's all there. You're tuned to ASV Radio, VK3 EKH, broadcasting since 1988, and uh, I am tired. <laughs> Not so much me then. But anyway, all right. Uh, okay, so the first thing we'll kick off with tonight. Um, let me see where we are. And uh, I think we're still hanging in there on the internet side of things. Good. Um, okay. There's just a couple of things I'll uh, sort of quickly go through, um, courtesy of the space exploration uh, section of the Astronomical Society of Victoria. They have a very, very extensive Facebook page um, which gets updated uh, multiple times through the day, I think, and uh, of news and items that come through. So, um, very, very interesting web page to keep an eye on. Many thanks to Kate Green for um, the work that she puts into that. Um, right, well, let's see. Uh, I was going to just uh, briefly touch into the SpaceX mega rocket, which makes a successful test flight but lost descent. Starship, the world's most powerful rocket, flew further and faster than ever before during its third test launch Thursday, although it was eventually lost as it re entered the atmosphere over the Indian Ocean, SpaceX said. And there's a couple of images that I'll just throw into the mix. Right now, here's a one picture of the launch of the rocket. Um, there it is. <laughs> uh, okay, the sleek mega rocket is vital to NASA's plans for landing astronauts on the moon. Uh, later this decade, and SpaceX CEO Leon Musk hopes uh, 